a high-end gaming PC like the one that you are looking at right now should cost you somewhere in the ballpark of around $23 to $2,400. But this extremely beautiful system only cost me $1,779. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can do something similar with a little bit of planning, a bit of patience, and a touch of creativity. Listen, I completely understand that there are some people who just won't use used hardware for their systems, and that's completely fine. But I have proven time and time again through the PC Build Up Challenge that we can use used hardware to build absolute monster gaming systems that will perform well for years and years to come. And we're able to do that for a lot less money than what those people are going to be using to build their brand new systems. And to prove this point, I have this lovely gaming PC right here that is already a gaming powerhouse. And I was able to pick this entire thing up for a thousand dollars. And what did I get for that $1,000, you ask? Well, let me tell you. For starters, this system has a Ryzen 9 7900X CPU. You know, it's just a casual 12 core, 24 thread CPU that has a boost clock of 5.6 gigahertz and it retails for like $325 right now. 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM, also currently like three times as much as it usually is. I think that exact RAM is like $350 $50 or something right now, absolutely insane. Just in case anyone's not keeping track, that's like $700 for just a CPU and RAM. We get an ASUS Tough B650 motherboard with Wi-Fi 6, and we get a one terabyte SSD. It has a 360 millimeter Kraken Elite AIO, an 850 watt Corsair Shift power supply, and an RX 6950 XT graphics card. And for anybody unfamiliar with the 6950 XT, it is a 16 gig graphics card. So this system System, all on its own is unbelievably powerful. And I'm pretty sure I mentioned that I got it all for $1,000, right? Now, obviously, if you are turning to the used market for your gaming PC, there's a strong possibility that it either like doesn't look the way that you wanted your system to look or doesn't have the exact components that you wanted. But just like when people buy houses that have good bones and then they renovate the entire thing, you can do the exact same thing with your gaming PC. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. This system is already strong. We're gonna make it stronger and we're going to revamp the way that it looks because even though it is a decent looking system, it doesn't look how I want it to look and we're going to change that. Now because I already have enough gaming PCs and I do not need another one, we're going to be adding this system into my PC Build Up Challenge series. If you don't know what that is, you are in luck because it's pretty much the most fun thing that we do on this channel. The entire idea behind the series is that we build and sell gaming PCs for profit until we have earned enough money to build a top tier gaming PC that looks and performs like an absolute beast. And I give that PC away to one of you. And the only thing that you have to do in order to qualify and win that gaming PC is to be a member of the PC Rehab Discord server. I drop a link to join that server in every single one of my videos. And you don't have to subscribe to the channel, but uh, if you did, I would really appreciate it. And just like in every other episode, after we put this system together, we're gonna go ahead and test gameplay. We're gonna go over how much it costs to build the system, and then I am going to need your help coming up with a price on how much we should try and sell this system for, because you guys dictate what I list each PC for. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and take apart this already powerhouse system and turn it into a, a powerhouser system. House, powerhouser, or a more powerhousey, whatever. We're, we're gonna build it.
few things that I would like to address about this build before we do that. What? This thing is absolutely stunning. I cannot believe how good this turned out. I they, Listen, if you tell me that you don't like this PC and how it's designed, just, just unsubscribe, get out. This thing looks so cool. Like Batman would be impressed at how cool this thing looks. Now, a lot of you guys probably noticed that a different power supply made its way inside of the system rather than the Corsair 850 watt power supply that was originally inside of the system. And the reason that I did that is because with this system being as high power as it is, 850 watts would have been fine, but I have a 1000 watt power supply that was just sitting around and I figured a 1000 watt power supply for a system that is this powerful is probably a better idea than the 850 watt even though the 850 watt probably would have been just fine. Now the 1000 watt power supply was overkill for a system that I will be putting together soon and um, I figure the 850 watt would be just fine for that build so I was just going to flip them. Now the, the 850 watt power supply comes in at around 135, 140 and that Roswell 1000 watt power supply comes in at $100. So I'm just gonna call it a wash. We're not going to be adding or subtracting any money for that. We're just doing an even swap. The other thing that I need to address real quickly is the fact that there is not a one terabyte SSD. In fact, we got a two terabyte SSD. When I originally talked to the person about this system, he did say it was a one terabyte SSD and I never checked. Uh, so that was a nice little surprise. You can't argue with double the storage. Now, usually in my build up challenge videos, I wait till a little bit later to talk about how much money it cost me to put together my system. But because this video is kind of trying to talk about how you can build ultra systems using Facebook Marketplace and a little bit of creativity of your own, and you can come up with like really amazing systems, I did feel that it was important to kind of talk about how much money it cost us to put this system together because the amount of money it took is pretty alarming. And I'm going to break out my phone for it because it's a lot of numbers that I just don't want to memorize. So for the original system with everything in it, I paid $1,000. And during the montage, I know that it didn't like, I didn't have the outer box for the graphics card, but this is an RTX 5080. So it's an extremely powerful graphics card. And I found this on Amazon being sold refurbished for $940. Now it is not uncommon for me to buy refurbished graphics cards on places like Amazon as long as I know that I see the seller has a strong track record of shipping out quality products and they have a lot of good reviews. This particular seller had thousands of reviews and they were pretty much all positive. So I knew that what I was getting was probably going to be a perfect card. And what I got was like a brand new card. It even had the plastic peel on the back plate, like the full long plastic peel. So this thing was probably bought, didn't fit in a computer or they didn't know how to like, you know, update drivers or anything like that. And there was an issue they just didn't know how to work it and they sent it back and now I have it for a whole lot less than what people usually pay for 5080s. For our vertical mount here, I did pay $48 and the only other addition that I added into this case were all of these really cool looking thermal right fans, which I did pay $91 for. Now, if you're keeping track, that brings us to a grand total of $2,079 for this PC. But wait, there's a rebate. The original system came equipped with this 6950 XT graphics card. Now, when you go on eBay and you search this card and you try to find it for its cheapest price, I can't find anything being sold for under $400. Now, if I try to sell this on Facebook Marketplace, I'm probably not going to get 400 for it, but I know for darn sure that I'm not gonna get less than 300. So what we're gonna do for the sake of this video is we're going to deduct $300 off of our total build costs for this system because we will be selling this graphics card right here. And that changes our total build cost quite dramatically. So that makes our brand new grand total to put this system together only $1,779. I don't know about you, but I would consider with the specs of this PC, I would consider this to be a pretty top tier gaming PC to get it for $1,700 is, that's really good. So you might be the type of person who doesn't like to use used parts inside of their gaming PC, but this thing is stronger than 95% of gaming PCs that are out there in the wild right now. And I was able to build it for much less than what a lot of other people build their systems for. And that's why you subscribe.
<laughs> it, it's past my bedtime. Now, obviously, no build up challenge video is done without going over benchmarks and then having you guys help me figure out how much we're going to try and sell this absolute monster for. But let's kick this off by talking about performance. Starting off in Battlefield 6 with the game's graphics maxed out as high as it will possibly go with no frame gen, we're getting an average of 121 FPS. Mind you, all of these benchmarks, they're all at 1440p. In Borderlands 4, a game that is notoriously difficult for even the best PCs to play, at the game's badass preset with no frame gen, we're getting an average of 84 FPS. And if you've ever played this game at its max setting, then you'll know that's actually a really great average FPS. Now, in what seems to be everybody's new favorite game, Ark Raiders, I set everything in this game to max with no frame gen like always, and we are getting an average of 114 FPS. And lastly, for something that I have not played in a little while, I jumped back into Hogwarts Legacy at you guessed it, the game's max preset, and we were able to get a very beautiful 164 FPS average. Now, obviously, you can get way more FPS if you enable frame gen, but for testing purposes, I do not like to have it enabled. I'd like to see what the card is capable of all by itself. Now, I did do a few other benchmarks. I ran Cinebench R23, and we were able to get a score of 27,961, which is absolutely fantastic. And in Time Spy, we were able to get a score of 27,338, which gives us an above average score for the hardware that is inside of this system. And remember, everything inside of here is running at stock values. Nothing in here is overclocked besides the RAM. Everything else can be boosted even more to get even better results. And all of that has led us to right now where you need to get involved and help me come up with a list price for how much we're gonna try and sell this system. Obviously, within reason, we are not trying to rip anybody off, but what do you guys think a good value for this PC would be? I take every single one of your recommendations into account and I come up with an average and that is what I will list this PC for and hopefully it will sell for that price. Now, I put together kind of a mock build of this system to see like what it would come out to being like brand new. And what I was getting was around $2,400. Now, obviously that's all brand new and we can't sell it for $2,400. But what do you guys think we should sell it for? If it was me, I'd say 2,200 would be like a great price for a system like this and we'd make quite a bit of money off that. Now, if you had a little bit of fun here with me today and you like the build, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It means the world to me and it helps my little channel grow and become more successful. So maybe one day I can quit my full-time job and just do PC builds for you guys. And if you do decide to subscribe, smashing that like button is in close proximity to where that subscribe button is. So you can go ahead and hit that too. But as always, remember that no matter where you are in the world, I hope that you are having the most fantastic day and I'm gonna see you right here for the next episode.